them. General Lady, so recognized. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, a nuclear Iran is unacceptable. Our fundamental strategic objective must be to stop Iran before it obtains nuclear weapons capabilities and to compel it to permanently dismantle its pursuit of such weapons. That is the test we face. And if we fail, it will come as no consolation to the families of the victims of past and future Iranian attacks or to our allies. We don't know how much time we have left. In its uh, report on Iran, Iran's uh, nuclear program uh, last November, the International Atomic Energy Agency stated that not only has Iran continued to make significant progress regarding its nuclear program, but the IAEA said that it had uncovered solid evidence that Iran has been working on a nuclear explosive device as well. Given the Iranian regime's history of concealing its clandestine uh, nuclear activities, Tehran may very well be closer to a nuclear weapons capability than we even assume. Some estimates uh, now place a, a mere six months to a year away from having all of the ingredients in place to build a nuclear weapon. Every day, they move closer and closer to realizing their nuclear ambitions, and our nightmare scenario moves closer and closer to becoming a reality. The Iranian regime is not interested in any outcome other than a nuclear Iran, though they are happy to use negotiations to buy time to make progress in their nuclear program. Yet we know that when sanctions have been applied, even limited sanctions, they have had an impact on the Iranian regime. It is time to build on this lesson and apply crippling sanctions against the regime and its enablers. That is the purpose of the bill before us, the Iran Threat Reduction Act, which our Foreign Affairs Committee adopted unanimously last month. This legislation updates and strengthens previous Iran sanctions laws so that the United States can take effective action to address the multiple threats posed by the regime in Tehran. The bill closes loopholes in the energy and financial sanctions that are in place now and counters the regime's efforts to evade them, including by targeting the Central Bank of Iran. The bill also focuses on the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps and the senior Iranian regime officials. Over 350 members of Congress have co-sponsored this strongly bipartisan legislation. Let us meet our responsibilities to the American people and to protect the security of our nation from this growing threat. With that, I reserve the balance of our time.